Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, first of all, yes, I had to cover the windscreen because it's going to be sunny and the glare was terrible. Um, so, you guys have seen most likely the video for the unboxing of this tool. Um, I will leave the link in the description below. And uh, while I have this tool with me, as I said already, it was lent to me for a couple of weeks. While I have it, I wanted to show you as much as I can about this tool so what i decided to do today i don't know how long it's going to be this video so completely up to you if you want to carry on watching or not but uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you through just a few modules not the entire car just through a few modules on a volkswagen passat 2005 a 2007 volvo s40 uh on my 7 series and uh who knows, I might connect it to the van if the video is not too long by then. Uh, so I'm not going to take you through uh, every single module, every single option on every single module. But I will take through the main modules. Um, so that's that's what I'm planning to do, show you some special functions. Uh, so on this Volkswagen, so I'm, I'm, I'm working on this, I'm repairing these two cars, this Volkswagen and the Volvo. I'm waiting for parts for both. Uh, the repair and diagnostic has been done with this tool, as I said, on the unboxing. Uh, but I'm waiting for parts, so... Uh, but today I just would like to show you that. So we'll try to do the intelligent diagnostics. Just for the fact that it should uh, detect the car. It should decode the VIN, if it's capable of that, obviously. Uh, just a little bit like the hotel does on the autoscan. Uh, on the autoscan, on the VIN detect, or whatever that is. Okay, so it's gonna detect my car, hopefully. There we go. Press diagnostics. History, if I have scanned this car before, uh, which I have. So if I would go there, I would have the last session I've been um, I saved in there. Now, um, I've played a little bit more with this tool, and yes, it does online flashing and coding on Volkswagen's Audi, well, VAG group, basically. Uh, so I can confirm that. Uh, it does the Mercedes, the BMW, and as I said on the video as well, it looks like the Porsche is going to be there as well. So quite good. So we have, this is the, the first menu on this car, in this case. You have a health report, which if I'm not mistaken, you will scan every single module. Even I'm still trying to get used to the tool, so... Let me see if that's what it is, but I think it is. Yeah, there it is. So it's going to go through every single module. Just uh, It's just a word of scan, basically. So I'm going to try to pause this and go back. Just go back, yes. Okay. All done, because I think... It's still scanning. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I'm gonna pause every now and then because I wanna. I don't want. I don't want the video to be too long. So anyway, so that's a full scan of the car. System selection. You go through the modules. Uh, online functions. So you have online coding, uh, parametric configuration, online matching and calibration, online programming. I've been through the online programming. Uh, it's not very difficult uh, to get through. Um, but it, it does work. I haven't flashed, but I got to the point where it was ready to flash. I just came back just to see. But it does the online coding, uh, does it as well. I'll show you. I think I can show you this. Yeah, download the files. There it is. It didn't take too long. Uh, which is the so you can see. So. You can choose do not download, select yes, indicate to download, select no. So I'm, I'm going to do, I'll press no, just to show you. But basically what it does is it downloads all the possible coding, I guess. Okay, so it's going to do that now. Let it load the file. Okay, guys, it took a good five minutes, I would say. 
to do this. This is the modules that I believe we found on the car and possible coding. Then he has a clip to code, which I'm not gonna press. Uh, but yeah, it, is, is, it works. Guess I wanna exit. Um, guided functions, a little bit like the Maxis as well, but yeah, guided functions so you can go and will tell you how to do whatever that might be. Let's say for example, it's a done. Uh, 1.4 Tronic, let's say for example, confirmed. And now you can, so a lot of this stuff is, you need to update, so a lot of, because this tool, it looks like it was new actually, as I said on the unboxing. Um, uh, you need to actually download the this, and then once you download, it's unloaded, but you need to do it for the first time. But the introduction, it actually doesn't show you. So let's say if I update. Okay, so from here you can go, you can actually do a test plan or go system selection or special functions. If you go to say, oh, is that actually supported here? Let's go uh, system selection, engine control module, for example. So how you do all this stuff, That's okay. So adapting throttle valve, for example. Look, activate and deactivate cruise control system. And this should help you to perform these tasks, uh, but through, but through the the proper menus. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel this because obviously I've chose the wrong. Ah, it came all the way out because I chose the wrong engine, as you guys have seen. So it would be there forever. Try to look for that function in this view, and the 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 function would not be present. So what we'll do now, I didn't want to come out all the way, uh, but seven minutes on this car is a little bit long already. Okay, so let's go, for example, to, uh, okay, so system selections, engine control module. Let's see uh, what we can do. in here uh, so let's say activate the tests so okay so this is the one by one I don't like this um, I prefer the selective ones basic settings just like every other control module uh, or code module sorry so the coding uh, readiness read DTCs uh, read data streams, so it's going to be by channels as well, especially on these old uh, cars, adaptations on channels as well, uh, logins, uh, yeah, that's that's what it is, I'll try to see, because sometimes if it's something, no it doesn't, uh, if it's something that is a common thing, usually the Maxis even shows you what the pin is for you to log in, Single reading, uh, chassis number adjustment. Oh, don't know if it would allow you to change the VIN number, but okay, so let's come out of here. Okay, so then you have brakes. Uh, what else you want, maybe? Uh, maybe the, let's say, dashboard, for example. gonna try to spend not much more than 10 minutes on each car uh, so chassis adjustment you give you the option to change the VIN number which if it works would be good so by channel by list so you can do all these here key count blah 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 yeah just normal normal stuff really nothing special uh, yeah channels as well Lock in. See if he shows you. No, he doesn't. Okay, so actuations. Yeah. 
So you can, ah, there we go. So it does the same as the Maxi Cs. It shows you the different options for different, uh, yeah, it does that. That's good as well. Let's go back. Let's try quickly another module. Let's say, I don't know. A lot of these is not fitted anyway. So let's say mobilizer, for example, I think is a function that you guys want to see. Let's see what you can do here. Okay, so this is my da da da, da. so for actuations, basic settings. Doesn't really show you nothing for basic settings. Uh, code module, let me see if it shows you anything. No, it doesn't. Doesn't show anything. They all show this. Would be good if you can do that. Um, adaptations, doesn't really show you nothing. Login, doesn't really show you nothing. Again, single reading. So, yeah. Just normal stuff, nothing to. Okay, um, I don't know, what else? Uh, control module, comfort system. Let me see if there is comfort, so I think it is on this one. See if it logs in. There we go. Okay, so yeah, same stuff. Uh, they all come up with chassis number adjustment, which is quite good. So by list, okay, remote control, auto lock, interior, Lock ORN, lock blink, and lock. Okay, so it's all this coding, which is good. Okay, adaptations. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, no, it, it looks like none of them will show you anything. Um, we're on basic settings already. Yeah, actuation tests. Okay, interior light. Okay, it's this stuff. Okay, let's cancel that. Okay, so. Um, yeah, it's it's not too bad. So let's just do one thing here on the special function. So reset service, brake pad changes, steering angle learning, throttle learning, diesel engine special functions, injector matching, DPF check, regeneration, DPF matching. Okay, so some stuff here for DPFs. Uh, what else? Transport mode, obviously, airbag reset, airbag reset. A 3B. Is that going to be that one? If you do it, the function my will make it. Okay, cancel that. I'm not sure if this is a crash reset, as I mentioned on the video when I'm doing. I'm not really sure, but there's some stuff here. Uh, so this is a special functions uh, procedures, diagnostic channeling for special functions, adapting ECU automatic transmission. So will help you to do this stuff so see if there's anything here language changing coding new airbag modules so it explains you a little bit what to do or some of the how to code new modules okay so is procedures information let's go back okay there's 13 minutes already on this so we're going to jump now onto the Volvo and see what we can do on the Volvo. Guys, put any questions below. Um, I'll try to answer for this one. I'll try to answer uh, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, this is very good. It gives you this warning for you not to forget the VCI on the vehicle, which is very, very good. So let's come out. Let's jump on the Volvo. Okay, we are now on the Volvo, guys. Let's going to see. Let's going to do exactly the same. As we did on the Volkswagen. And there it is. Diagnostics. There it is. Okay. Same as you can see straight away is a different menu, obviously. So you have the health report, full scan, system scan, or system selection. System selection, there we go. And system scan, what's this? Is that going to be a full scan as well? Yeah, it is. Look at that. 
Okay, so the health report might be something different uh, when you finish the, the scan. It might give you some sort of report. So as you can see, there's no special functions or anything like that here. So we'll just go here. Let's do... I know for a fact that this one is this one here. Okay, this is your stuff inside the module. So basics stuff here. Uh, the interesting thing, let's gonna see special functions. And that's your special functions. That's it. DPF, uh, DPF and the throttle, that's it. So come back from here. There's nothing else really here to look at. It's not a lot. Module information gives you this stuff. There we go. Okay, so there's not a lot you can do here. So let's end this. It's going to go, let's say, ABS, for example. Okay. So, module information. Uh, the freeze, fault, actuate, special functions. Uh, reading of the ignition, the configuration. Calibration. So, the calibration of the dynamic stability and traction control. Activating components and functions. Activating components and functions. Stationary, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, what is this? Okay, it's going to activate. Okay, oh, okay, that, that's, that's what it is. It's active tests, basically. Uh, reading configuration, okay. I believe it's going to read. There we go, but does, does that allow you to change it? Haha, <laughs> you wish. You wish. Now, you can read, but that's it, so... Yeah, because I know the Maxxis guys so far is pretty much the same on this car. By the way, on that car, when we compare that with the Maxxis, I would say that on the Volkswagen, it does have the online flashing, which Maxxis doesn't. Um, but all the rest, it seems very, very similar, to be honest with you. Um, I like what I like on this tool, however, is the screen is way bigger. I like that. Um, and uh, okay, so let's gonna see something else. <clears throat> let's see, for example, oh, let's see if it does. So it looks like it was a reset function on the Volkswagen. Let's see if we have something like this. Oh, look at that! That's good. That's good. It might be that the Maxi Sys does it as well. I can't remember now, but uh, but very good that. That's very good, actually. Uh, that's it, really. Oh, one thing. No. Ah, he's going to do the same. Look at that. He's not going to show you... Yeah, he's not going to show you resistance or anything like that. He's just show you that. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's... He's not going to show you nothing special. Okay, so let's check another module, guys. Um, I would like to check which one I want to check. Sam, that's an interesting one. Okay, special functions. Okay, setting clock deviation for remote receiving, blah, 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 ignition, switch, resetting crash mode, okay, whatever that is. It might be, it might be something else that has nothing to do, even on the airbag, don't know. Reading of programming, in programming vehicle mode, oh, vehicle mode. Okay, to what's that? Ignition on cause you want to fair from transport mode to factory mode, okay. So is 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 that? Um, to be a mess. Resetting low voltage counters. Yeah, nothing. I can't see here immobilizer functions. Uh, you only, yes, that's what I was trying to look for, but uh, I can't really see nothing here. Steering lock or steering. Tuh. No even. So just clear data, live data, and that's it. Okay, still guys, it's, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Is there anything else here that I would like to check? Uh, 
climate control differential them different now uh maybe yeah now uh have we done this with steering wheel module yes we did so that okay so yeah nothing a little bit obviously i'm i'm not gonna stop doing this guys it's a little bit maxis is not much more not much less uh special functions on the abs oh, oh we've been here guys we've been here so yeah so it's not much difference really uh i'm not gonna lie i like the screen uh i like the fact that this is an open android so i can install my own apps if i want uh so that's very good but that's it really uh uh, there's nothing else here for me to show you so yeah let's gonna go on the next car missus just arrived home from picking up the girls from school so let's check on the 7 series okay and the missus had to go out again so we'll be trying the transit first then we'll do the then we'll do the 7 series when she comes back Let's see if it detects the VIN on a whole car like this. So this is a 2003 Ford Transit. Okay guys, and he failed. So let's try to scan the VIN, see if this works. Okay guys, so he didn't scan. It's a little bit tricky to get with the glare of the windscreen and stuff. It was a little bit tricky to try to scan. Uh, this car being old, it doesn't have the barcode for the VIN, so I couldn't scan through the barcode. So I'll just put the VIN manually and uh, see if it decodes now. Okay, Euro Ford. Yes, is a Euro. EU, EU Ford, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't tell me a lot of... Uh, information but let's see what you can do here I actually have the engine running probably I shouldn't have okay came through this screen this is a 2.4 Okay, module programming. What can we do on module programming? Programmable module installation. Hybrid electronic, electronic parking brakes, security module. Uh, okay, so I know what it does. So it reads the old module settings and put them on the next module. So yeah, forget about that. System scan. Uh, vehicle information take us to here let's see special functions let's go to powertrain fuel fuel economy test forget about that so that's a test back uh, auto shift mm, auto shift my no is this is a chassis braking what can do I'm braking bleeding okay so normal stuff I wouldn't expect a lot on a car like this old, so eater, forget about that, I don't even know if it's fitted body, security, this is what I'm interested on. Okay. Okay, so that's what you can do guys, look at that. So you can raise, it looks like you can program keys, uh, module initialization, so yeah, it looks like I can program keys with this. I'm sure the Maxi Seas can do the same, not 100%, but uh, yeah, I, I, not a lot on this car, it's an old car, it's an old van, and I was not expecting a lot, so I think it gives you a, a rough idea of, of what you can do. Um, there's actually one thing we haven't checked, hold on. Okay, so I just came here. I don't think I have CSM. Do I have this module? I actually do. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this is the same stuff. So it looks like you can actually program used modules and that stuff. Let me come back and see if... Okay, there's nothing here for adaptation of the fuel pump, but it might be that it's done through the... through the PCM uh, and the security settings, maybe. Okay, so anyway, guys, let's wait for the BMW to come back and uh, I will show you this on a BMW. Okay, and on the 7 series now, as you can see, and let's see what we can do on this one now. Condition on only for now, and uh, let's try, okay, let me disable the HVAC system. I said off. Okay, so let's try once again. Now, the Maxis is, most of the times, on BMWs, fails to do this, okay? <clears throat> so let's see what this one does. And it has no difference, ha <laughs> ha ha! Okay, let's try to scan on this one, see if it works. Okay guys, and it also failed, but on here I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. Do not support automatic detection. We'll do it like this, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work just fine. Uh, by the way, just been uh, scanning a Honda Civic Hybrid. The guy wanted to know, uh, was the engine light on? Just a quick thing on that. Uh, it connected fine with all the modules, it told me the battery had a high deterioration, it was a bad battery on it, so I told the guy. Uh, there was no really special functions on there, uh, other than for the immobilizer, it looked like it could uh, program keys and stuff like that on that Honda. So I don't know, just a little bit of information here. So, uh, right, so this is my first menu. Okay, so it doesn't even know which car it is, let's do it like that. Coding program, look at that, straight away from there. Uh, let me see what does in there. 7 series, 65, car key, obviously encoding or program. Let me see if it connects okay. Let's just show you this. Do not create the information with the following system, going to look to all situation, okay. Gas and LM not replaced, car said he's just replaced, light module. Is just replaced. We haven't done nothing of this cars and they're not replaced. Not replaced, okay. Okay, so target data. Is this just a... Ah, there we go. So it takes me here, similar the, similar as the Maxi is. And to be honest with you, same functions really. So display VO. And it should from here allow me to change the VO if I have to. There we go. So that, that's my VO as I come down. SAs. So there it is. All the SAs. Okay. So personalization will allow me to... Where does allow you to change the VO? I would guess it should be here, but... Okay, let's come back up from here. I'd like to see where you change the vehicle order. That's what I'd like to know. Because Maxisys can do it. I know it does, and I'm sure this one does it as well. Let me see. So it doesn't configuration. So where do you change these then if you want? Hmm, that's interesting. 
Okay, don't know where it is. Coding system list. What is this? Now oh, there we go. It comes into here. Let's go to a module that is not too so. Oh, recording is just to record modules. Okay, in case if you personalization once again is to change settings, codings on modules. If I go to PDC, functions about to current system, restore the backup vehicle coding data, function selection. Okay, not supported. Okay, not really sure, guys. Sorry about that. So, retrofits, battery change, vehicle order change. Oh, there is vehicle order change. There we go. That's where you do the VO change. There we go. If you want to change it, it should give you the option now. There we go. If you want to change it, let's go back. Operation tips, it should tell you uh, different... Uh, hold, hold on, I'll show you. Because I know... I think I know what's going to show you there. I do apologize for a little bit of the glare, guys. It's coming from back of the car so operation tips it should show you no actually it doesn't I thought it would show you different uh, so this is the so how you change it then okay you can do it now let's not gonna waste too much time here program should be two flash modules and it should hopefully give the option to program the entire car or if you want to program only one module I guess you can see kind of well go it comes to here and now if I go let's say to my I go to a module that's not going to where's my crap oh PDC that's what I want okay there we go so very simple for you guys that have watched my channel uh, you've seen me doing this with the Maxi Sys so very simple uh, functions there's no special functions available but what he basically does guys here is he programs the okay it shows you that I'm gonna cancel this because I don't want to apply uh, to update the module open file fail because I've cancelled that do you want to code no I don't want to code nothing okay so it programs me on W that's good so let's go back and see what else we can do here so current key memory forget about that so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna do what special functions does it come so, okay so there is a few couple of uh, shortcuts to some special functions and now Gonna go back we're gonna do an automatic search and now we should find the car the car the VIN is already down there but it should look for the for all the modules and for the VO and all that that good stuff slightly different menus but uh, from the market there we go so all the information about the car and now it should takes me to I never do these 10 seconds unless I'm doing something that I really know it needs to be done. I just skip these most of the times. I was going to read the data. It's quite quick. Okay, and very similar mod uh, menu as all the other ones. So system selection, this is self-explanatory, special functions. Uh, once again, if you've got to drive, you come to here, all these options. 
There he is. Uh, chassis, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, body. So all these initializations, all this stuff. This unit, telematics, remote key. Register battery replacement. Maintenance for... So, DY3, green CBS, setting CBS, power supply, okay, so. Oops, sorry about that guys. So, from here, we have another shortcut to coding and programming. Okay, we're not going to go through there because we have been there already. So, that's the same stuff. Uh, and I think that's it really guys, because if I go now to, let's say to my drive uh, engine okay so it gives me all the the function all the, the information module information it shows me that again I'm sure it does there we go so uh, fault codes uh, there it is they are all history. Don't even know why they are here. Why are those codes here? Ah, I know why. <laughs> was when uh, most likely they are from they are from when uh, my thing was off. From when my uh, alternator, no alternator, my pulley uh, was gone. You had all sorts of electrical faults on the car due to the low voltage uh low battery voltage anyway there is a video for that um so from here you have data stream let's see data stream okay no no let me actuate the test usually it's very poorly on this <laughs> there we go electric fan is the only thing you usually can do from here special functions adjustments battery operational adaptations uh, airflow sensor yeah they all do that Adjustments is going to be at the speed, injection rate, cruise control, cruise control, uh, DME cars, limitation lever exhaust. Yeah, what's this function here? Description of cruise control, perform cruise control. Pass. Okay. What else you guys want me to show you on here? Let's see one module here. It's going to be chassis, most likely. No, it's not. It's actually body. Come on over here. The body and... That's your live data. Okay. Bag. Do I have anything else? No, I don't think I do. For airbags, all the other modules, they are actually sensors and stuff. Uh, what is to show you guys? There's not much more. Uh, all this stuff, this is not going to be a lot of um, special functions. Most of that is done through the programming coding. It's not going to be nothing here as you're gonna see extensions what's that short circuit starts moving all connections turn off short circuit inhibit so there we go oh that's good well well done if this is what I think it is guys it's very good you remember when I was using win okay no I'm lying now uh, tool 32 to reset a shortcut on a light module on a on a BMW, I can't remember now, a 3 Series I think it was. If this is what it is, short circuit status of the output of all components. Look, this is very good. So, state, so there it is. So, nothing is shorted. And it looks like if you have stored um, a short circuit, you can actually turn off that. That's very good, guys. Maybe the Maxxis can do it as well, I don't know. I haven't checked lately. But uh, yeah, it might be that it's possible to do it. That would be brilliant. You couldn't do it at that time because I've tried, but it looks like it's very good there, look. So let me see if there's anything else 
from here so 40 minutes now guys I don't want to take much longer but uh, you can give us an idea I would say very similar to the Maxi C's to be honest um, maybe there is certain function functions embedded in the system that they are not supported on the Maxi C's that uh, reset of the short circuit was not there for sure uh, a couple of years ago maybe that is there now I don't know but um, and a function help what's that let me see if it's not going to try to... Okay, look at that. Even shows you... Look, Z-series adaptation functions, FRM coding. Let me see if this is... Uh... Okay, so it downloads a... Look at that. <laughs> People are saying this is basically a launch. And look at that. So, E85, E65 volts. Uh, is this B is explaining me that okay, whatever. It's a little bit of help. He had to download this PDF. Uh, I found that it does a little bit on some stuff uh, you need to download uh, uh, the 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 like on the on the Volkswagen as you guys seen download the gathered functions and I, I do believe that once you download them once they will stay here so you don't need to do it again but uh, yeah uh, so I think that's it for this time let's come out of here now Okay, so uh, I don't have any other cars here to show you nothing guys, so that's gonna be it for now uh, But uh, I think um, I think it might help you guys uh, At this moment in time um, And I'm gonna do this as I go along uh, trying this tool um, I said at the end I might try to tell you to give you my opinion in between for example this tool in the hotel I don't have any other tools to compare to so but I would say for example right now as we stand um, just for the fact that uh, you have uh, VAC programming and online coding and all that stuff um, if you do work a lot in on Volkswagen's I would probably go for this tool at the moment if you don't work a lot on Volkswagen's, I would probably go for the hotel for the simple fact that there is a J-Box with it. So you guys know, uh, I don't need to take you through the functions of the J-Box. Um, but I'm not going to lie, uh, it, it does the Volkswagen flashy, which is good. It's a bigger screen. Um, so yeah, uh, I must confess the connection to the tool, from the tool. To the dongle is really really quick is really quick it connects to it like in a blip of a second absolutely fantastic uh, maxi series takes a little bit longer the 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 j box takes a little bit longer but you know guys i'm not very fussy about how long it takes to connect and stuff like that so i just thought to show you this um, nothing special i'm sure but uh, just to leave you with this a uh, few scans few checks on these four cars and uh, I think I'll catch you again soon with this tool on something else so for now guys hope you enjoyed the video please leave some comments below if you have any questions as well and like always guys thanks for watching